we were just playing on the railway, uh, being doing what kids do, messing about. And um, we, I was, from what I've been told, I was running along the top of the train, and the fir- I've slipped, and the, the first thing I've done was grab the whole overhead wires, natural instinct, yeah. to stop myself from falling, which has automatically given me a 25,000 volt shock through the, off the electric. As a teenager, Tom Crosby almost died while playing on this rail line. He suffered massive burns and lost all of the skin from his face. His physical recovery took months, but the psychological and emotional impact on Tom and his family lasted for years. I just didn't think I was going to be a normal boy anymore. And so that's why I rebelled even more. I thought, no one's going to want to look at me because the way my skin was. But the thing that, that affects me most now is what affected I had on my family. I didn't realise that at the time because I was being too selfish. Tom was injured 15 years ago, but for his mother and sister, the memories of his time in hospital are still raw. They were working on him and they just, you know, they said to me, you've got a room right next door to Tom. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully he's still alive in the morning. And then yeah. we had people knocking on our doors as well, saying, we've just found out Tom's died. And I'm like, I haven't yeah. heard nothing so how can you? It is incredible that Tom survived 25,000 volts going through his body. That's 100 times more than the electricity flowing around your house at the moment, probably powering the television you're watching this report on. And it's important to note that electric rail lines are permanently switched on 24-7. They're always powered and always dangerous. The first question is all about electricity carried in the conductor rail, okay, that's the tracks themselves. If you think that those conductor rails carry 240 volts, you run to the red cone and you perform a skill. So Network Rail is working to get its safety message across to children and their parents. Tonight the team's in Warrington. Learning through football is effective, but it's Tom's story that really hits home. And I've got all scars up there that goes all down there, all down there, and it goes all the way down to this leg of you. I'll show you a little bit there, see? It goes all the way down there, you know what I mean? You don't want scars like that for the rest of your lives, do you? For years, Tom questioned why he'd been so unlucky to suffer such serious injuries. But today, he realises he was incredibly fortunate, lucky to be alive, and now sharing his experience in the hope that he can save the lives of others. John Maguire, BBC News, Warrington.